Hi everybody welcome to John Creator today we are going to model a nest model of joystick and if you are new to this channel subscribe my channel and if you are new to this 3D modeling please visit my older videos let's begin press shift a add create a cube and go to the top view go to the solid view scale it in x axis at to this much and scale it in y axis okay now scale it in z axis a little more uh, little bit bigger now go to edit mode before that press control a and apply a scale and now go to tab and press r and create a loop at here and this one we are going to do the mirroring because both side the base model it comes the same maximum so first we are going to model a only the base so further we will continue after that go to the modifier and add a mirror modifier now it has been came correctly and clipping make it now go to the solid view and start processing designing further i create it like this i select all subdivide now it has been required uh, as per our requirement it has been came so I am going to see a trial how it comes. If I press undo, I am going to select these two and go to top view and E texture the same axis and E texture and same axis and go to the wireframe and select the select it and move to axis. Just follow my instructions and the videos. and go to the top view again and go to the face selection select the face so this will be better for face selection now e text to and move towards here now we are going to do some modification in this shape i am going to select this vertices and gx to move slightly this side gx to move gx to move so do the operation what i am doing exactly and this one we are going to shrink it as per our requirement i scale it down and g set move towards here select this scale it down and gz to move towards like this and this one scale it down slightly it's enough so i make it this uh, movement little bit further so it will be looks good i just scale this one a little bit more and go to edit mode and we can see some shape has been came for us so for the thing here we are going to do select this face and gz to move towards here so i press ctrl 3 to apply a subdivision you can able to see we got the some requirement shape but i feel this is not as per our requirement so i am going to do further modification in this because this one doesn't look good i go to the other frame tap mode go to the top view one on the keyboard for the vertices go to the wireframe i am going to select this and gx to move select this gx to move gx to move gx to move slightly and gx to move so i'm going to make it a little bit bigger for this leg so which will be looking too good i feel so i move it like this here some shape to make it a little bit corner and this one i make it like this so which will be looking good so i am seeing uh designing own model so the shape will be a little bit different for the ok 
okay and this also i make it a little bit far off mm -hmm. okay okay so let's see how it looks okay now looks uh, better i feel so we are going to do some more modification this uh, for more better design and clarity so what i am going to do is i am going to the front view and press o for the smooth orientation i am going to select this i go to the front view g to move i make it smooth up not came as per our requirement so we can do some changes here i'm going to give spare so let's see now how it looks g and move okay 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 now we can see the shape it has been came uh, different but uh, this one for us it should require a little bit upper this one front center side so i'm going to select g z uh, before that i turn off the option and g z and move like this and i just make it a little bit upper here g z g z and g z g z select this and g z okay i hope now it will give some smooth okay fine now it looks better for me the for this joysticks so i right click shirt smooth go to the normal and may i select auto smooth and go to the modifier now here further thing we are going to do some more modification for this go to edit mode and select this faces and x uh no this one let it be here select this face x and dissolve the edges select this one and i2 insert and x2 delete the face now let's see how it looks yeah it looks better So I just undo it. So I just we have to do some more option. So I only select these two and X and dissolve the edges and see how it looks. But it's getting dissolve everything. I just see X two and dissolve the edges. Oops, it looks bad. So uh, further thing we can do is we can just uh, delete the requirements. I select this and I to insert we can make and see okay it came better and GY to move towards inside and yes to scale it and create one edge loop here and double G to move towards here now go to the face selection and e to extrude in x axis go to the wireframe and g y to move here and select these two and g z to move up so let me see how it looks yeah for this button it has came uh, okay and g z and move towards up and press control how to create one loop head here so now this button shape has come came perfect and i just made little bit more sharper fine and here what i am going to do is i am going to create one more edge loops in this corner so 
so which will make more sharpness here now i am going to select this one using the alt key and it has been selected only this i press v to separate now we can see how it looks i select this one i press control l and g to move and now we can able to see i press and p to make the selection now you can able to see it has been separated this button and here i am going to do press control r and make little bit sharper here so which gives this cool look here and here what i am going to do is i am going to select this one e text tool and press scale it in z axis and go to the edge selection and g z sorry select this two g z to move towards down and g y to move towards here now i create one edge loop here and here also one edge loop so now this shape has been came differently so which looks nice for us so the same way i am going to do is select these edges select this edges shift z and v it press v to transform now select this one press control l and select the object press p and make selection now i go to solid mode so now you can able to see the button has been came nice so this one i am going to make it little bit inside and i'm going to make it gz and move towards here okay now looks better and i go to the edit mode i go to select this face i to insert alt s to move inside so this is the shape we have given so now button and bottom has been ready so here we are going to do some more uh, brief detail here so i select these edges using the edge key i press control b to bevel and create the corner to make it like this sharper so now this looks better and cool i save the object as joystick so always do and save the files don't forget so now after creating this shape so here in this back it looks better this is the wireless joystick and here we are going to give the sensor for this go to edit mode i select this face and i to insert alt s to move towards here okay i just undo it uh, press i and press b to make it the angle like this alt shift s to go towards here so let's see how it looks okay fine and here we can make some sort edges here in this corner and this corner so now this lab looks good fine so this is the sensor we are going to give for this to adapt it to this models so now uh, one set has been completed so now we are going to do some more different in this here in bottoms so i am going to add some beveling here so always this should be a uh, better mm. or we can do a thing so select this shape select this one and make control b to bevel and let's see how it looks yeah here it looks fine the other way it's smoother is okay 
now in this top i'm so going to save it once again the joystick so don't forget to save so uh, let's see the design how it looks yeah looks fine the model looks very nice and the bottom also cool uh, shape we have given here uh, we can give some uh, design and icons here for the models i'm going to select i to insert and alt s yes to uh, go bottom or alt s yes. okay let it make it up and s yes to scale down and i press ctrl r and create a corner loop and here in face selection i'm selecting i and i'm going to give one more insert so now this shape has been came for our requirement here we are going to give some model numbers for the for this design and here in bottom we can make one more sharp also i make it control r and make it corner yeah looks better i save this one and how we can implement some more things here so here in top so we can uh, implement some more models here and this area we can make a cut i feel okay for the reality so i select this one okay it's not came up to here mm, okay or we can create one edge loop here and we can see the difference okay nothing may happen i go to edit mode and using this edge i am going to make it a separate for unwrapping i press right click and mark the seam that also okay it's okay i just undo it before that here we are going to do some more option control b to bevel so create edge loops here like this control minus and e texture towards inside so now we got a cool shape for joining so our shape has been ready we have given the high detailing for this okay i just undo it I press Alt S yes and move inside. Now we let we see it has been done properly in this. Fine. Now we got a cool shape for this model, and so we are going further for this. This is the bottom and top, so which we are having the joining. Okay, I save the joystick. So now we can see the further how we can do more modeling in this. So we can make some uh, cool design here. uh like i select this now i select up to here or we can not uh, select this one and go to edit mode okay this will work fine so here select this one and select this press control b to bevel i reduce it I press Control minus Alt S yes and make it down. See how it looks. Okay, it doesn't look good, so I just undo it. Fine. Now select this one. Okay, make it here. Uh, Okay fine so i hope the, this is enough for this top model and we are going to do further in this uh, making further so i'm going to give coloring for this now so before that we can go and unwrap it control a go to uv unwrap so now we can go to the uv editing tool you can see how it has been unwrap because we have not did properly so i am going to select these edges and this edges shift to z we can check once i press c and unselect this 
so i have made this one selected and press right click and mark seam select everything you to unwrap it now it has been unwrapped correctly as per our requirement but here you can see still we have not applied the mirroring for this go to the modifier and make it 3 don't forget to do the in rendering also 3 now i hope everything has been fine so we are not going to add any other models here i save it and i do the backup once i make it joystick bkb one and i save this one now after doing this now you can open the reason and open it so now i press i apply a mirror first i go to edit mode now i press u and unwrap it now you can able to see this is top this is bottom uh, this one is not required for timing or uh, this one also we can make some uh, requirements i feel like so let's see i just select this one and make it centerized or uh, selectable is okay total and uh, here's control l and scale it down and press g to move so here okay i got some idea for the designings and uh, mapping so i will guide you now go to edit mode select everything and i go for scenarios option so which the selection is will be fine press ctrl l okay something is missed out here which is uh, linking to this section actually so where okay i got it where is there i press period key to zoom in shift z to zoom i press vertices okay i found here is the some mirror but it has been unwrapped correctly only but i don't know why it's giving this error actually so i just you and unwrap it again here we can see the joint anything is there okay go to the face selection select face and press ctrl l now we can able to see it has been selected as per requirement so now we can do the uh, modeling for this I press Ctrl I to select and select uh, select everything. Go to the base and create new. I am going to give it as base color. And I am going to give one more thing. This is a line color. So in this base, what I am going to do is I am going to assign a black. And this also going to be black. Okay and i press assign and this one going to be pure white that one i press ctrl i and now we can able to assign this one now when i go to the rendering mode so you can able to see we have got a one good look design for this so we can make the coloring for this uh, make it looks uh, different so this is the white color i have given so we can make what color is required for us so let me see further for the further modeling and further designing so this one we are going to give uh, some uh, um, sign look so let's see further for the further modeling and final look and this one i am going to be the same base color for timing okay i have given for timing i save it so let's go to the layout now you can able to see the base has been ready for this this is the first part of tutorial is going to complete and if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel and if you like the video share it with your friends okay next video we can see tomorrow until then bye bye